Whoa, kind of a flickering there. <laughs> Probably because I'm recording this at like a different time of day than when it started. Uh, that Pokemon Center is so... It's calling me in, but I can't use it today. Well, this is the Stupid Genius 55, and we're going in this Orberg cave. So you have to say. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Okay. At least you're not, like, Eddie the Toad, who would be like, It's amazing seeing them... <coughs> oh boy, Eddie is only... Oh yeah, I named him Eddie, whoops. Yeah, that's a good sign. Um, anyway, yeah, last episode I was talking about mostly just my experience with the, the games and how 4th Gen was, like, my first one. That battle up there is uh, optional. I know that for a fact, so... Or maybe I'm not remembering it correctly. You know, I think there are Machop in here. Actually, if I'm going to look for Machop, I could also go up to the route up there. In fact, one of the NPCs in here specifically mentions getting Machop at that location. No, I already have an, uh, an Eddie. Yeah, that's good. He, he Eddie's quick, so he can, like, run away from anything. Uh, so I don't have to worry about these Zubat. Now. Okay, I thought there'd be required battles in here, but I guess not. Um... I don't know if I want to go into Rourke with my current team. In fact, uh... Well, then again, Firefighter only has, like, moves that, um... I was gonna go switch to Firefighter, but... Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're not out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this, too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! Yep, he is Rourke. He is the gym leader of this fine town. This escape rope. I don't need the escape rope here. I'm... Wait. What's this here? Why is that there? Uh, that, that ledge up there? Okay. Well... I'm going... I think I'm gonna go, uh, up that route. Up to route, uh... The route that's, like, above... To... Well, yeah. All routes are, like, to something, but... Uh, 200 something, but uh, one of the route, like the route that that goes up, uh, like north of Orberg is what I mean to say. Uh, and I'm gonna quickly do some training on, yeah, a firefighter. Oh my goodness, why can I not speak? Because he he is he'll get a mock punch, and that will basically I basically uh, can uh, not much they can do if I remember her. Well, yeah, I don't really remember it having much trouble with. Uh, when I just use Mock Punch, so uh, I should make sure get Firefighter up to the front, and uh, I don't know if I want to fight those. I mean, Warburg Gym isn't going to be that hard, so. You know, what if I... Oh, I could, I could catch this guy, maybe. I have two Pokeballs, so I hope I don't waste it. God, if I waste it, I think that shows how out of it that I might waste these Pokeballs. Nope, Machop was caught, okay. A nickname. It is a female Machop, so I'll name it, uh... Let's see, I'll name it, um... <coughs> oh, I never... I realized I haven't named any Pokemon after real people yet, so I'm gonna name him... I mean, her... Let's see... Alright, and... Yep, Ultimate Pikachu Fan 1, you are a female, apparently, by this game's logic. <laughs> you know, it's the game's logic, not mine, of course. Okay, so he has, uh, to face him a chop slightly, like, more than him. Uh, I now I'll go to Eddie and give him... Uh, then again, he doesn't have any, uh, moves that are... Like, good... He's, like, just setting up to knock me out. Oh, no, he, he can't do anything to me. Okay. Now to fire fighter. Uh, after, um... Sheesh, I am running out of these moves. Dang it. Um... I guess Ember? Okay, good. So they all got experience. I really should work on just leveling up, uh... Firefighter and... Ah, yeah, EPF one, ultimate Pikachu fan one. Uh, I'm a chop is an ultimate, the ultimate fan of Pikachu's. Yeah. 
now to what? A uh, firefighter handle the situation with a return or two or a scratch. I'll use. Yeah, you know what? Scratch is gonna be okay here. So I'm thinking of not getting rid of it possibly. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Oh dear! Actually, I'm wasting a, quite a bit of power points here. Uh, I, don't, I don't really need to. I'm getting. I'm starting to get a bit paranoid here, and um, just making sure Machop is Ultimate Fan One is there in case. Uh, I can't in case I won't be able to use Firefighter, but um. I'll just keep using Scratch. You know what? I'll get it. I'll, I'll replace Scratch with. Or er, you know what? Let's. Oh, should I? I yeah, I, I can just keep on spamming Scratch here to train him. I, I don't see why I need to. All I need to do is just defeat like one more. So yeah, thank God he's over leveled. So. Now, uh, this should. Nope, it didn't do it. But. Let's keep going. Now. Um, I don't know if some of you guys have found it weird that I'm doing a Let's Play of this. Because my goal here is to make something that's easy to make just for a, you know, because I'm going to be away. But, you know, now the firefighter is evolving. And, uh, I don't know if it'll seem weird. I guess it's because I got to talk a bit about how I kind of, you know, uh, this game kind of had some good... It was my first Pokemon game and had some kind of memories and how I used to feel, uh, I used to not be happy about all the criticism that that, that uh, fifth, fourth gen was getting. Since I really didn't see what was so awesome about third gen. Um, uh, will I ever... Nah, you know what? Well, to be honest, with, with so little power points, I kind of want to just f have a, t a bunch of attacking moves. I don't want too many non-attacking moves. So just to conserve power points. Until I get max elixirs and whatnot. Uh... Let's see, did I earn any... M you know what? Since he's so overpowered, maybe I will go fight some of the trainers in there just to get the money. Um, Maybe I'll fight... Uh, I can run away from this guy. Now, let's... Uh, wait, you're not... Um, I thought you... I thought he would have battled me, but I, I guess I was mistaken. Um... Yeah, Geodude, I guess. She's talking about. <laughs> and. Anyway. Uh, I'll be on vacation, or. Whoa, Onyx. Uh, nah. I don't need it. Let's challenge this guy. Oh, no, never mind. It's just this one guy down here that's gonna battle me. Okay, I came all this way just for, like, a little bit of money. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, now, okay, now let's get back to the place, wow, what riveting commentary I did there, hey, let's go back to the place, I won't even mention what the place is, now, do I need to heal up, firefighter, uh, maybe I'll use one of these potions on Eddie, or I mean, UPF1. Uh, I think I'll keep a potion or two with me. To be honest, because the gym is gonna be really... Oh, let's, let's get uh, the gym guy. The gym guy. I want to talk to him because he he is, you know, my first... Th the first one I ever saw. Wow. Well, that was that was professional me moving the microphone, but... Now, the gym leader's user of rock-type Pokemon, and then rock-types really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Shirt G, they sure have weaknesses. Yeah, he's right, especially since they're four times weaknesses. But don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Uh, that's not exactly that true for, like, the first gym. They do it in later gyms, actually, fairly well. Then again, oftentimes I don't bring a Pokemon that's super effective. I find it funner that way when you do. Well, when you just bring Pokemon that are intentionally not the right one. And actually... To be honest, I see a lot of people complaining about type advantages and how they like to find the game. And yeah, I guess they, they do so more than other RPGs, I suppose, but... Uh, the, the gym leaders in particular, they aren't, like... I've never really had, like, 
at least no, there's some gym leaders where you can just sweep them with type advantage, but they're not all that easy to me. Um. All right. Oh, whoops. Oh, I, I didn't mean to scratch. Um. Hooray. Now I can just do scratch. Whoops. Okay, I actually do need to use a potion on Firefighter now. But at least I got some money out of it. That's the important thing. Uh, I hope I'm not wasting too many potions here. Because I'm using them, like, left and right. Now we got Rourke here. I'm going to stand by him so we can see his, like, awesome sprite. And does he have purple hair? Yeah, he does. This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I am Rourke, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. He makes it sound pretty important there. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. <laughs> and this gym leader music is actually my favorite in the series. To be honest, to be quite frank. Uh, Rourke. He is like... Now, let's see. Even though I'm probably only going to be spamming Mach Punch, and it's not going to... Ooh, Stealth Rock. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, for, he has potions, too. That's not going to be not annoying. But, yeah, Stealth Rock. Uh, G-Rourke, you might... You're not exactly in the metagame here. <laughs> probably good, it's a good way of showing how the metagame is not really... There are a lot of differences between uh, metagame and main game. Single player, I mean. It's Fury Swipes, that is replacing... You know what? Scratch has only has 9 PP, and Return has 8, so I feel okay. So I feel totally okay taking away Scratch now. Now, um, being very kind of defensive. Whoa, that, he, that did a lot, but I have Mach Punch. And even with the potion, you it always attacks first, so... Yeah, Mach Punch does good in this gym. So yeah, he can't do well against fire, water, or you. Oh, sorry, water, fire, water, grass, or even fire. Huh. This is embarrassing. I only went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You are strong, and I was weak. That's all that sh there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League gym badge. A coal badge, I mean. <laughs> this gives me a sense. The fact that he says I lost to a trainer without a single badge. It gives me a sense that there's like a hierarchy among the gym leaders. And here's the, uh, the th I guess the thing is <coughs> that I imagine that the uh, gym leaders probably adjust, like they'll use weaker Pokemon for trainers who have a certain amount of gym badges. That's a, that's what I I imagine is happening. Um, I have <coughs> how how do I uh, what evidence would I get for that? Now, now I want to wait until after I beat the gym to buy stuff at the Pokemart, uh, because now you have. You're, you're offered more things. Uh, let's see. Maybe I will take a... To be honest, I don't think I need any super potions at this point, so I'd be just kind of waste of money, in a way. I'll buy a few of those potions. Now, well, you never know when you might need a Pokemon, so I don't need a Repel. Uh, I'm not wasting my money on that. I can just run from them. Kind of funny, like, wasting money on a Repel, but just playing through the main game. I would have, like... <laughs> like, uh, hearing myself say that, that would be it, it just so surreal, since I all love repels in the main game, but here I don't want them. They're just not worth it. Uh, yeah, they do offer a different kind of merchandise. Anyway, I don't remember why, I was, how, what my arguments were for the fact that the Pokemon gym leaders use gym-specific teams. They use different teams, of course, at things like the Battleground and Battle Frontier, and not Battle Frontier, World Tournament. The only real way I guess I could see that be is that they legitimately got like um, level 60 or something, so that a new trainer would have a really tough time facing Rourke if they faced him with if his team from the battleground that when you fight him again in the after game is the same team that he uses that that he is is just the the same team that he has from <clears throat> that that he's gonna go back to use when he goes back to his gym. Essentially, I'm saying that. If the gym leaders don't adjust their Pokemon accordingly to how skilled the challengers are, then new trainers are going to have a really tough time facing Roark at the end of the game, because he has level 60s and whatnot. Now, 
I, th I believe Pearl, uh, I mean, Barry's supposed to be up here. Yep, he well, I mean, I, I kept saying he should be right after, while he appeared. Um, yeah, Eternal City is actually, he's talking about uh, Eternal City. You can't go up there before, wow, it's the time to count. <laughs> um, I believe, just so you know, up, uh, if you go down the path up there, you will get a... Um, the, the TM for Flash is there if you go through a really long cave, and yikes, I didn't battle you, and I'm battling you right now. That's not good. Uh, I think I'm going to switch you to UPF1. Yay, I knew you'd waste your time on something like that. Wow, scratch, that did... Me being a fighting type and all did so much. Yeah, as if, as if, UP, as if Firefighter needed more leveling up. Uh, I, yeah, this guy is required, so I battled him already. Oh boy, looker. He is, I have not obtained a Palpad. Oh yeah, anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? I, I'm not visiting Pokemon Center's very much, because I can't use the heal desk. Actually, I can go there just to retrieve, uh... Bidoof, so I can use him as an HM slave if I need. So, nope, not not the heal desk. Uh, it's taunting me. It's taunting me, but I'll withdraw. Bidoof, he's not allowed to be used in any battles, so I'm not violating any of my rules here, people. Just reminding you that I can, that if it's, he's an HM slave, as long as he's not being used in any battle, I, I'm good. Because, I mean, I'm not allowed, remember, I'm not going to be using the heal desk. I, I'm still going to allow myself to use PC. Now, Around here, uh, I believe there's going to be a Team Galactic battle. Yep, Team Galactic. Uh, press R1, you must comply. Hand over your research findings. For free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. I think in the original... I remember the Diamond Pearl, said that would result in massive damage. Uh, I think that wasn't... You know. Ah, Chris! Well, is the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. But hasn't I given... Oh, but hadn't. Thank. Okay, I thought there'd be that big glaring error in uh, an official. You know, uh, yeah, your first Pokemon only recently. Perhaps you, being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because that that is work for us. What we're saying is we we demand you comply with our demands. Oh, demand you comply with our demands. This is he added this. To, to Platinum. This wasn't in Diamond and Pearl, this lecture he's going to give. Don't loiter about for no good reason. Don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. And if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. And number four, don't think you're gr you've grown strong just because you're in a group. And five, he has five of them. I thought it was only three. What is it with those outlandish outfits you have on? Yeah, that's, that's the five, uh, Rowan's five habits of highly effective people. You made this personal? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And we have the nice... I'm not going to speed up the Team Galactic music here. Since I really like it, um... And, well, that's it! I just really like it. Okay, so... Firefighter's going to be good against both these. Uh, I guess Glammy... Actually, I'm a bit paranoid here, but... I think I'm gonna want to use some kind of HP restore on Firefighter. Okay, if I wasn't gonna use it now, I would have used it later. But I probably should have done this before the battle even started. Okay, never mind. Uh, at least it's just a scratch. Poison gas? Is that gonna poison me? No! Ugh, now I have to buy an antidote. An antidote, excuse me. Well, at least it's not. Uh, I guess I'll use Mock Punch. I'm, um, I'm gonna switch out to some other Pokemon, actually, so they can get the experience. Oh, good. He's just using Focus Energy, not anything, like, actually... No, nothing actually being, you know, threatening to me. But yeah, now I have to use another Potion and an Antidote. I messed up big time there. Let's give Eddie some screen time. Not just some screen time, but some outright, you know, doing stuff time. Ah, ha, 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 
Ah, you missed. Uh, but he's not gonna get that much experience. Eddie's not gonna get that much experience speed because of... A critical? God, if that knocked him out, that would be bad. But he only got two times, so... Then he did get a critical hit, so I wouldn't exactly call that charitable on my... to me. Oh, that... yikes, he is not doing that much. Um... Actually, uh, Eddie has not been... I've not used Eddie enough. I actually once did a run with a Golbat, and I already... Like, I had a Golbat by now. But, hey, maybe maybe he'll get the, like, final hit here. Oh, that, that barely did anything. Big surprise. Um... <laughs> I know in the cave, you can... That Orberg cave, you can actually catch a Golbat. So, you know what? Maybe I'll just release Eddie. I don't know. How's this... And it's possible the two of us losing children. By the way, I need to mention this. I don't believe I'll actually finish this whole game uh, before I go in, in, like, less than a week. Or when you're watching it, you know, the present. Or the future for me, I mean. While I'm on vacation. But, yeah, you're not going to see this completed before then, to be honest. Uh, I mean, to be sorry. I don't, I don't think, I'm, not, I'm not happy that I can't finish it. Uh, 90% of Pokemon are tied to evolution. I thought every creature ever was tied to evolution, because we evolve. Okay, I know they're actually talking about metamorphosis here. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, he's gonna last until, like, the TV station. Now, the Pokemon Mart is not that, uh, kind of far away. I mean, it is far away. A bit. All I need is one antidote, though, so, and that's only $100, so it's not that bad, but still. And I'm also gonna want to take a potion. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm spending a lot of money here. I'm not being very conservative at all. I, this is, this is not gonna bode well for me. I suppose. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to, you know, go back to the cave. I'm just gonna go get a gold bat. Well, you know what? You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna go back there. I'm just gonna get something else. But I don't think I'm gonna continue to use Eddie. He has become a, a liability at this point. Or, actually, I get a. I'll look for something in this piece of grass here. Besides, there's some hidden thing over here, I'm certain. Or just a not hidden thing. A paralyze heal. Paralyze heal, I know. But. Now, good. Uh, I've been... Should I get a... A level four? Nah, nah, not at this point. That'd be... <laughs> no, no, that, that'd be worse than Eddie. Got Eddie, he is... He can, you know what? Eddie can, uh... He's psychic. He can, you know, know when how many shine sprites, like... He, he knows about uh, shine sprites being stolen from Bowser and whatnot, but he can't... Yeah, he's not quite able to... You know... Uh, what am I thinking of? He can't quite, you know, uh, get past level 8, it seems. Actually, uh, well, I still want to use UPF1, but he knows some moves. Eddie is not really growing that much. What else should I get? Maybe I should get an Abra, especially for the gym coming up, you know. Because I know Gardenia has quite a few poison types, but... I'll get something along these caves here, because I don't want to. <laughs> and why do so many... Trainers comment that you look weak. I, I see one Galactic Grunt say you look very strong, but apparently this character is a very weak demeanor to most in the in the in universe of the game. Um, sheesh, this Shinx is doing a lot. Um, yeah, I'll just use the potion. I mean, I have to use it at some point, right? Now. Well, then again, it's because I'm, I'm, like, quite a bit lower than it. Oh, I'll teach you with the magic cart my dad gave me. Okay, I didn't... I, I just read that as just sort of... When I was younger, I just read that as kind of just the normal... Um... 
as just, okay, his dad gave him a Pokemon, that's his characterization, there's nothing weird about that. And then, the, and that now that I know that Magikarp's kind of about, ah, oh, thank goodness, I learned to move, sorry that kind of, if that yelp sounded kind of surprising, but, yeah. These Pokemon are way too low leveled. I mean, granted, it's because you could probably come here before, you know, Orberg. In fact, the first time I played the game, I actually came here first. So, in fact, when I played the original game, weirdly enough, I, I couldn't find my way from Slaceon Town, like, to the route, which takes you to Veilstone. So I actually, uh, something that's almost, that's really difficult for you to do, um, I went to Pastoria City before I went to Veilstone, so... Crash Awake was the one I thought fought third at the time. Oh yeah, I need to teach uh, Bidoof the move. Um. Oh boy, this will be hell to navigate when I get a bunch of stuff. I want to get a bunch of, like, TMs. The TM bag. So. Actually, I think there might be some... Yeah, there are some items up here. Uh, there's also some, you know, obviously the surf of water is going to give you some, yield you some benefits later on, but for now it's not really. And I'm being very, uh, like, taking out a lot of rocks here. Why do I keep using the word, the adjective very to describe actions that don't really, that doesn't really describe accurately? And sheesh, these Pokemon are even more underleveled. I understand that, you know, you can still technically come in the cave, it's just you can't get that far in it. Well, it's not that big a cave, but still, I mean... Now this part, I mean, I, I'm gonna guess this is the part with the Pokemon that will be a little more high leveled. Now let's see. I'm just gonna get into our line of sight. Uh, drawn to this route by the scent of flowers. Not really. Ah, I got a, a critical hit. Oh boy, he increased a lot of his attack there, so... Oh my goodness, he is... Alright, you're pretty underleveled here. I I'm just gonna switch you out, because... Uh, let Eddie take the hit. Actually, it's not very effective, so... So, actually, since super effective, I might actually... And I got a critical, so... Maybe I'll wait for it to fall on its own. Whoops, I meant to say run from... I meant, I didn't mean to run from the trainer battle there. Uh, Firefighter is also, um... I wonder when I'm gonna learn Flame Wheel, because I need that to, like, replace... Okay, Eddie's finally starting to learn some stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have given up on him this easily. Uh, new apps. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna do that sometimes, but at the moment, not much. Really. I don't really feel like it. Um, yeah, UPF one's been out for long enough here. Oh wait, no, I I'm actually gonna run from this battle. What am I thinking? Let's just run. Um, oh boy, we got some twins there. I think I can. Yep, I can. I can evade them now. Bullet seed. This is bullet seed. Yay! <coughs> gonna see if there's anything. Don't want to do. Uh, what? Can't escape. Why not? Okay, never mind. I should. It's, it was risky keeping him in there in the first place. So. Uh, we have some more Team Galactic stuff here. Yay for flowers! I'm not talking about much in this video. It seems. I'm just talking about. I guess my general strategy. I guess. I'll take another potion. Um. So, what kind of Pokemon? You know what? To be honest. I don't know if it's a good idea to use just a bunch of Pokemon that wouldn't really... Like, just using the same ones, because about because I have to conserve a lot of power points that way, but... Yeah, to be honest, with no Pokemon Center 1, you want to conserve power points. It's best that I catch, like, a good array of them. Mons. And a lot of them that are a bit more disposable than others. Um... That's kind of what I like about Nuzlocke. It kind of forces you just to take a bunch of Pokemon that, you know... I guess that's kind of the point of the only taking the first one in the root area rule, so that you can just get some... 
uh, you know, so that you wouldn't, you'd use some you wouldn't normally use. It's kind of nice. Now, finally, some berries. Uh, these will cure poison. Uh, if we get some, uh, too, too bad we don't, we're not getting any of the, like, Lapa berries. I think those are the ones that restore power points, if I'm, if I'm incorrect about that. Then I'm incorrect about that. <laughs> Um, okay, let's... Team Galactic is not up to good. Let's see if there are any... Um, Patrisu, do I want her? Nah, nah. Oh, can't escape. What? Well, I'm gonna go with Firefighter and see if... See about our not escaping now. I was just gonna possibly check for some... Weasel! That's... I'm sorry for that being loud there, but that might be... Kinda good. Yeah, let's let's get that one. Let's hope he gets captured. Yes he is. But boy, I got his health down a bit low. Weasel, yes. Um What will I name the Weasel? I guess I'll name it Um I'm gonna name it Um, no. I'm gonna call it Water. Water something, water. Wait, I'll just call it like a Aqua Jet. I think that's it. You know, just like the moon. No, no, not that. Sheesh, why am I not? Um, I'm so out of it today. Oh, there, there we go. There's a name. All right, that that's one. Um. Yeah. Um. I really need to say something. Hello. Um, I guess I'll better talk about, like, the vacation that I am currently on, or... the vacation holiday, whichever you wish to call it. And... for, for, for a good period of five days, I won't have any internet access whatsoever. Uh, and... I probably will have some internet access between for a little while, but I won't be able to make the video public for a good five days, if not more. Just warning. Whoops. <clears throat> I accidentally pressed the wrong button. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually end this episode off here, so, you know, like, subscribe, have a nice day, I'll see you when I get back. Well, actually, I'll be coming back to this Let's Play in just before, I'll be doing more of this before I leave for my vacation, but...